Why would anybody stick an old bellows lens on a modern digital camera? There's a word that comes to mind. Starts with F. Fun! So, g'day. You know, I like mucking around with old vintage lenses on my uh, digital Fujifilm cameras just because it's fun. Well, today I'm going to take this and put it on this. Because, why not? Right, so this old camera I've had lying around for ages and uh, it's a pocket vest camera. And the history of these things is they were taken into uh, even World War One by soldiers and uh, they were sort of the ultimate portable little um, pocket camera of the day. Even today they're very very small and uh, fantastic for walk-arounds. So the lens itself has some peculiarities. The little camera and lens were made about 1926 for a few years and it has two shutter speeds. I for instantaneous T for time exposure. The shutter is here. The diaphragm, or what we would call the aperture, is in front of all the lenses, is turned with this knurled knob here, and they're marked one, two, three, and four, and they have different size apertures. One is wide open, turn the knob, two is stopped down a bit more, turn more, three stopped even further and number four is the smallest aperture and the manual from the time says the apertures are used to change the depth of field that's the main way of focusing my model also has this little stylus that is used to write on the actual film through a slot in the back of the camera so i'm lucky to still have that intact and there's your viewfinder uh, just here, you look through the top and out and you can turn it to change from landscape to portrait. So the trick is how do you connect it to the Fujifilm? Well, I'm going to use the body cap here. Mount this body cap on the back of this lens so it can then mount to the uh, Fujifilm. <laughs> So don't try this at home, kitties. Okay, so somehow I have to take all this off the body. So first compact the lens back into the body, close the door, then take the whole door out. Open this up off the latches and start to pull it out and it just pops out like that. So you lift with the empty body case and in here the whole lens and bellows which can then be mounted onto the camera of your choice with a bit of ingenuity, gaffer tape, bit of glue, whatever. Okay, that's the next bit. Now I'll be the first to admit this is all a bit experimental and uh, off the cuff. I've got some glue which probably isn't quite strong enough <laughs> and I've got to glue this mount which has the X mount body mount onto the back of this 110 year old bellows lens setup so that it can then be mounted onto a Fujifilm body and actually stay there. So we shall see how this goes. The good thing about doing it like this you can center the lens in the hole because the better that's centered the less vignetting you'll get. I have no idea if this glue is going to be strong enough. As with all experiments, things are a bit experimental. The glue just simply isn't going to cut it. So uh, I've got this plate on the bottom of the camera. I've got some double sided tape on the underneath of the bellows and I'm going to stick the bellows onto the plate 
so that it can mount then directly to the uh, tripod hole and sit in front of the camera. Hopefully that'll do it. So with the bellows from the old Kodak vest pocket camera I now have a bit of tape top and bottom uh, so that there isn't light coming in through the top or the bottom where it doesn't touch the Fujifilm camera and this metal plate which is now stuck to the bellows and that helps support the thing and this screws straight into the uh, tripod socket on the camera and that's how this thing will mount focus is then by sliding the lens backwards and forwards along the rail okay so put the uh, body cap on the camera it's a little bit messy but at the moment i'm simply trying to see how this all works whether it's going to work or not there's the mount for the tripod we'll see if that can go straight in so we'll line it up a bit there so it's firmly attached this slides backwards and forwards for focus so you turn the camera on open the lens and then move the bellows for focus how's that move bellows out out of focus move it back in into focus so aim it at some scenery move the bellows in and out for focus So there you go, a bit of a uh, Frankenstein project, something of interest to do <laughs> on a spare day. And what does it prove? Well, it doesn't prove anything. It just goes to show, I suppose, how versatile digital cameras are. And how much fun you can have mucking around with old lenses that were never made for them. And uh, still get some results. So basically, it's for fun. So whatever you got, Pick it up, take it for a walk and have some fun. Bye.